reset T1 2021 threat report details that 10 different advanced persistent threat groups were exploiting several Microsoft Exchange vulnerabilities to compromise thousands of email servers. The zero-day threat caused by the vulnerabilities in Exchange Server 2013, 2016 and 2019 were patched by Microsoft in early March. But if infected, the attacker could take control of the Exchange Server without the need for credentials. Now, and 60,000 servers fell victim and created this global crisis. For its part, ESET's telemetry identified 5,500 servers located in 115 countries, affected by this malicious activity. The data also shows that many detections happen around midnight coordinated universal time, which could indicate the location of the attackers. Of course, that's allowing that they work normal daytime hours. Now, as the team predicted, ransomware operators got their hands on this exploit and targeted unpatched on-premise exchange servers. If infected, the removal of the web shells on compromised systems is essential. While many managed to do this, um, the chaos saw the FBI in the United States using the web shells placed by attackers to connect and remove the very same web shells. Now, this was part of a court authorized activity, but was limited to the removal of bad code, but not the implementation of the authorized patch.